I find it hard not to be choked up, if I'm honest, by Remains of the Day. That sense of what if pervades a lot of my written work, but also, of course, uh, in terms of the diary um, that I keep. Um, often, perhaps a little bit too often, I will go back over past events and think, what if I'd done this instead of that? How might things have turned out differently? And in the case of Remains of the Day, you have Anthony Hopkins, the repressed English butler, who isn't very good at disclosing his feelings, communicating how he thinks. And he has the chance, decades later, perhaps to make amends. But he's kind of missed the boat by that point, and the film uh, never fails to choke me up. I find it sublime. You've got the outsider's perspective in a way because it's a great sort of insight into the British and specifically the English uh, class system. Uh, there's an American director and uh, an Indian producer and that sort of outsider's perspective is perhaps very similar to what happened when John Schlesinger went to America and made Midnight Cowboy and um, Marathon Man, uh, and also similar dynamics with Ang Lee, who went to America and uh, made films like The Ice Storm, um, which was such a, an incredible expose of uh, Watergate-era America. Hard to believe that the, you know, the director is somebody who, um, until uh, just a few years earlier, was, was living and working and based in Taiwan. So my choice is Remains of the Day for today, and it's a film that is just so blissful and wistful. <laughs>